a chapter a day to brighten your way. We have God, so we fear no evil. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Nahum chapter 2. In ancient war records, the Assyrian army wore blue uniforms, while the Medes and Babylonian armies wore red uniforms. In this chapter, Nahum prophesied that Assyria would be judged by God and ultimately defeated at the hands of the red armies. Let's read chapter 2 together. Nahum, chapter 2. The scatterer has come up against you. Man the ramparts, watch the road, dress for battle, collect all your strength. For the Lord is restoring the majesty of Jacob as the majesty of Israel. For plunderers have plundered them and ruined their branches. The shield of his mighty men is red. His soldiers are clothed in scarlet. The chariots come with flashing metal on the day he musters them. The cypress spears are brandished. The chariots race madly through the streets. They rush to and fro through the squares. They gleam like torches. They dart like lightning. He remembers his officers. They stumble as they go. They hasten to the wall. The siege tower is set up. The river gates are opened. The palace melts away. Its mistress is stripped. She is carried off. Her slave girls lamenting, moaning like doves and beating their breasts. Nineveh is like a pool whose waters run away. Halt, halt, they cry, but none turns back. Plunder the silver, plunder the gold. There is no end of the treasure or of the wealth of all precious things. Desolate, desolation and ruin. Hearts melt and knees tremble. Anguish is in all loins. All faces grow pale. Where is the lion's den, the feeding place of the young lions, where the lion and lioness went, where his cubs were with none to disturb? The lion tore enough for his cubs and strangled prey for his lionesses. He filled his caves with prey and his dens with torn flesh. Behold, I am against you, declares the Lord of hosts, and I will burn your chariots in smoke, and the sword shall devour your young lions. I will cut off your prey from the earth, and the voice of your messengers shall no longer be heard. The city of Nineveh was originally a prosperous and bustling capital, but its final days were saddening. Everything that Assyria had taken in the past was reduced to nothing. Dear friends, the southern kingdom of Judah was afraid of the power of Assyria, but God's righteousness and promises strengthened their hearts. Perhaps there are people or things in your life that scare you in the same way, but I believe God wants to use this message to comfort you today. You can rest assured and rely completely on Him, for His justice will be done on your behalf, and He will surround you and protect you in His embrace. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please uphold justice for me and remove the attacks of evil, so that I may enjoy peace and no longer be afraid. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.